Hello, it's Sparks here, and welcome back to Sonic Superstars. So last time, whoa, the trip feels very slow for some reason. Alright, oh, this is a classic game. I was playing a lot of modern Sonic before this, so I'm all like, why can't I boost? Anyways, did we do Act 1 yet? Best score, best time. I think we did Act 1. Can we do the boot stage? Might as well play the boot stage while we're here. Act Fruit. Okay, here we go. I don't think I've actually played the Press Factory Fruit stage. Oh, no. Yeah, I definitely have not. When we were doing the uh, Sonic story, which I didn't realize it could put characters mid-story. I wish the game had clarified that. I don't think I've played this one. Or at least I don't remember. But yet again, it's been literal months since I've last played uh, any video games. I've been very busy in, in a real-life run. But I'm glad that I'm able to record now. Well, it helps if I... I'm rusty. Like, overall, I'm rusty. The this game, I'm rusty. I'm just rusty on all video games in, in general. This is bad. <sighs> Doesn't Trip have, like, a triple jump? Yeah, yeah, Trip has a double jump. I need to utilize that. We are barely getting any rings at all. It does not help that these platforms are one of the most annoying platforms to ever jump on. Okay, I just gotta be a little bit more patient. I am... Okay, so you can't double jump on those. Let's just return to the world map. And everything will be okay. Anyways, onwards to Act 2, which is the, uh... <laughs> when I remember in the main story, I really struggled in this act. So prepare for a lot of deaths. It's mostly because... Okay. Oh, whoa. They really spiced up this stage. Yeah, I don't remember if Trip... No, Trip isn't immune to spikes. I'm thinking of Mighty. Oh, I see. Okay. We gotta jump off you and then go right here. Okay, perfect. And then we need to go right here? Yeah, that was easy. Uh, what's going on? I can't quite remember uh, the gimmick of this stage. It's been forever since I played it. Oh, that's right. I have to press the buttons or else I die. That's what made this stage annoying. At least now I remember. Okay. Let's go, one button pass. I was wondering what that button was for, to be honest with you. Okay, this time we gotta actually speed it up. For some reason I thought it had something to do with the crusher, but apparently not. Also, I love how they change the layout so that this is, like, trip-specific now. Do I need to be on the side of the wall right here? Um, okay. We're good. I did not expect... Wait, what? Is this a blind jump? I do not like blind jumps at all. Okay. We need to find a button as soon as, as possible, but also not running into enemies. Try to spread. Okay, there we go. No, not the one of these. I struggle with these so much. Why do I have to do these but in a precise manner? Honestly, those things remind me of the things in Mania, so maybe they're just like that and I'm just uh, overthinking it. Okay, you wanna go up here? No, but the lines want us to go down. I sure hope the game isn't lying to us. Oh crud. I forget that stuff starts exploding when it gets all heated up like this. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So far, this has been a actual pain. They have upped the difficulty on this stage like way, way too much. I thought it was ridiculous before, but this is just a whole other level of scariness. I guess the real question is, can we do it? Who knows? Or maybe I'll end up rage quitting. I'm just kidding. I have not ever rage quitted a game before. I don't think it's possible. I just really enjoy, uh, dying over and over again. What? What am I doing? Okay, first of all, I have no idea what happened right there. But I guess it doesn't really matter now, does it? Okay, there we go. Press the switch. Press the switch to survive! Oh! And also not get crushed. 
Good thing there's no lives in this game. I bet I've gotten like a thousand game overs by now. Thousands of exaggeration. I mean like more like at least ten. At least ten. Let's go with at least ten game overs. Anyway, I'm all like, you press the button, you're invincible, but also gotta remember that there are constant hazards that let me crush. Ooh, that's mean, putting spikes. What? Really? I didn't jump high enough? That's a, that's a bear. What? Okay, I didn't jump high enough. Got it. I thought baby jumps would be adequate right there, but apparently not. I love how you have people like trip in trip stages. Oh, makes sense, so. Honestly, this stage isn't as bad as I remember it. Maybe I'm just, you know. Oh yeah, and I completely forget, we have emerald towers in this game, don't we? Yeah, we'll continue without them until we actually need them. Like right here. According to the game, our emerald towers are needed right here. So we shall use them. Oh, I wish this emerald power would help us climb easier. Why can't you- Oh, you can climb on top of these! Mmm, yes. That's way, way easier than actually doing it the other way. So we're supposed to be going up? I honestly think this stage is really hard for it being, uh, the halfway point. There we go. Nope, I'm not falling for that trap again. I just gotta be very vigilant and make sure that I don't do- What? Oh, I see. You gotta really put on your thinking cap for these stages. This is actually pretty hard. Like, really hard, to be honest with you. This isn't just like a, you do what you need to do and you live. This is a, you actually have to be paying attention and figuring out what to do next. I've kind of already, what? Okay then, okay then. That didn't happen last time, but let's go with it. Sure, I'm avoiding those things at all costs. Let's just patiently wait right here, and boom. Okay, jump right there so we can avoid getting crushed. So those actually break when you jump off of them. That's good to know. Ooh, a blue ring. It's been a while since we've found one of these. We don't exactly need it because we do have the uh, super form at this point. Oh, I remember these. I'm really bad at these. Like, extremely bad. I guess we'll just keep going and hope so living. Oh, that one was easy. That must have been the first stage again. I know that these special stages keep looping. Trip got medals! Only five? That's not good enough. Okay, as for you... What? That's not fair, I was in a special stage! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, that was super close. I actually honestly don't remember when it actually activates, but we haven't had it activate since I accidentally activated it before, so that's really good. This is seriously a really annoying. Okay. Perfect. And jump. Nope, that's not working out. Okay, I hate these things so much. It takes forever to rotate it. No! Why? Why did they put an enemy there? I'm gonna die because of this platform. And I don't mean enemy, I meant this launcher thing. Please launch me up. Of course. R.I.P. R.I.P. Who thought it was a good idea to do this? This is pure evil right now. Okay, let's wait for you. We have to redo this entire part? Why? They should have put a checkpoint before that really long climb up. There we go. Let's climb to the top right here. Alright, you can't attack those. They're spinning like that. It always seems to be like you can jump right there. Can I skip this a little? Not really. That was not really a worthwhile skip. It worked, but I'm not too sure if it was faster. Well, I don't really care, because I need to get to the top of this area as soon as possible. No room for, um, dumb mistakes. 
There we go. Angle this up perfectly. Why does it always feel like it's changing direction? I don't know why. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now that a nightmare's over, we're into another one. Oh, we have to go down, don't we? Okay, cool. Good to know. Uh, oh, nice button. Let's touch that before we even proceed. Ooh, we can actually turn super. I'd love to turn super. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. You become a flying dragon of ultimate destruction. Uh, I'm actually gonna re uh, deactivate that. Because I'd better save uh, my super form for the boss. I like the added challenge that we have to go through right now. Why didn't I enter the rocket the first time? I must have not landed near it. Wait, you gotta be kidding me. I have no ring, and I'm about to do the boss, aren't I? Okay, at least the stage didn't take 20 minutes like it did last time. I don't understand what happened, to be honest with you. There we go. Nice! All oh, the delicious rings, they shall be mine! Okay, at least we have rings, so we should be able to do this boss. I don't remember this boss being actually that much of a pain, to be honest with you. This one just took a little figuring out, but it wasn't that bad. Hello, Eggman. Are you ready to get tripped? Oh wait, I forgot, we're fighting a robot in this version. Silly me. Anyways. Boom. One free hit right there. Wait, huh? Oh, it's doing that phase early. Okay then. We just lost all our rings. That is bad. We might want to have to utilize... Wait, can't you like... I can't remember how I get this off, but I'm pretty sure you can actually just spin that underneath. And that's the reason why I've been struggling here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we can just spin that underneath, but it, there's a hammer. Does that make sense why it would slam behind it? Because we can just spin that underneath it. Cool. So let's do that instead of being a fool and actually conquer this boss. Wait, what? Oh, I see. There we go. Then let's get a hit off and then spin dash before you do that. Boom. Perfect. So I just gotta pay attention to when to switch lanes, really. And now I'm not in the corner so I can easily dodge these. Okay. Wait. Oh, I probably should double jump for that. No! Can I go underneath like that? Okay, we gotta be very careful! Not enough speed. I should have spin dashed. Well, this is a fun introduction back to video games. All the difficulty and everything. Also, people have been wondering where Mega Man's been. I, um, actually will continue Mega Man. Uh, I just wanted to finish Tears of the Kingdom first. Then I'm gonna finish Mega Man. Whichever one I'm on, I can't remember. Might be Mega Man 5, maybe? I think maybe 4. Well, whichever Mega Man I'm on. Right, and then you do this. You're gonna do one big... Oh wait, I remember, you're supposed to let them slam. Okay. This boss is actually a lot trickier than I remember. But I know I can do it, I just gotta believe in myself. Okay, this would probably be a good time to put slang. And then wait for the big slam. Boom. Boom. Oh wait, I forget. Forget bosses have invincibility frames. Kinda odd. Bosses should not have this many invincibility frames. Why do I keep thinking I can do that without the double jump? Also, I gotta remember I have emerald powers. Uh, no wait, this one shows me hidden obstacles. 
Oh, this one is the uh, the the fire dash, right? That one's pretty useful. I think the clone move would also be useful here. No, I just barely ran out of it. I was really hoping to do, you know, pop right there. There we go. That was a terrible jump. No, let me through. My ring. That's it. Use a clone move. Use a clone move in desperation. Come on. Okay, Gabe, get ready to dash. What? Oh yeah, I forget. In this game, the bosses don't follow uniform patterns. They just attack whatever they want to do. Just like all the other Sonic games. Okay. Just know. Just to know. Go. Okay, you cannot jump off the hammer like it's a normal platform. That's something important to note here. Okay, go. Come on. Yes! Okay, you finally gotta jump in. This time, I'm just gonna spam my, uh, clone move. Well, I'm just gonna use my clone move is what I'm saying. And then we're gonna immediately equip the fire dash. There we go. Nice. See, I tried to orient the clone so that it would be in the right position. Okay. You need to be very careful right here. Nope! No, no, okay. Let's switch to the fire dash, which is extremely good. We should be able to get a few hits off. Huh, <laughs> that's funny. If we stay safe and with the fire dash, we can do that. Yeah, I get it, Eggman. I would be mad too. Oh, we're at the part where he does the fire. Okay, cool. What else can we use to do damage? I can't remember. Oh yeah, Trip's special move is the fireball, isn't it? Is the fireball even going to be useful here? No, it was not. Oh, so I forget, you lose emerald powers if you get hit. Is turning the water going to help? Uh, wait, you could just duck underneath those? Oh, I missed time to jump. You could, if you were in a corner like that, you can just duck underneath them. I wish I knew that before. That's crazy. That's gonna make this way, way easier. I know I keep saying that, but way, way, way easier. Anyways, let's just try and scam our ammo powers as much as possible. Okay, now I know I can just duck underneath that. That makes that part way easier. Nice, getting another free hit off. Okay, let's switch to Fireball next. As soon as this phase ends, we're gonna use the Fireball. There we go. What? That is just so rude. There we go. Let me actually hit the boss this time. Thank you very much. Now I know how to dodge that. That's actually going to make this way easier. Wait, 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 what was that? Oh, I was way too... Okay. This is duck and avoid. See, I should have known that there was a much easier way to do that. Okay, I gotta stop mistiming my jump. Really bad. So, boom, then our hit off, can I get that, yep, if we jump right away we can get that really easily, okay, what else do we have, fireball, there we go, what, that should have hit, oh, ugh, we might have to save this battle for the next video because we're running out of time. This could be last attempt. Okay. Room, a room, 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 room. 
go. Now we can double jump immediately right here. And I'm just gonna... Oh, I keep forgetting. I wasted the fireball anyway. Let's just activate our avatar clone. Okay, and let's just duck in the corner right now. Boom. Make sure we direct this and jump right here. Okay, it doesn't matter if our clone hit that or not. Okay, we're gonna try the fireball again, but it's really hard to do. You have to like be really right on top of it. Okay, let's get into the corner and hide. Hide from all the projectiles. Okay. There we go. I'm trying to figure out the best time to activate the fireball. Right now, I'm good with just hitting the boss, as normal. There we go. Oops. See, I have no idea when he had- how to- SUPPOSED TO EXECUTE THE FIREBALL! Okay, that was really bad right there. Okay. Okay, this boss moves a lot faster than you think it does. Oh no. I don't know how to dodge like the fire effect thingy. That's a huge issue. I don't know why I keep doing that. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye bye.